what? The Lord. Uh, what? The Lord. The Lord is referring to the God of this Bible. The Lord is referring to the God of Israel. The God of the Israelites. The God of the Iroquois. The God of the Navajo. The God of the Chickasaw. The God of the Kambachi. The God of the Pequot. The God of the so-called Native American. The God of the Negro in America. The God of the Negroes in the, in the islands. The God of the Negroes in Jamaica, in Trinidad, in Trabago, in Grenada. The God of the Puerto Ricans. The God of the Cubans. The God of the Mexicans. The God of the Colombians. The God of the Costa Ricans. The God of the Mexicans. That's who the Lord is. so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, right? You are the chosen people of God. The God of Israel chose us to be his people. If you are, if you are on this sign right here, this is, this is who you are. This is your nationality. This is your identity. Your identity isn't African American. Your identity isn't really Cuban. Your identity isn't really Colombian. Your identity really isn't uh, Puerto Rican. But your identity is the tribe of Ephraim. Your identity is the tribe of Manasseh, right. the tribe of Benjamin, the tribe of Judah, the tribe of Zebulon, the tribe of Issachar, the tribe of Naphtali. I can go on and on and on until I hit all the 12 tribes. And God wants, to, and God wants us to understand as a people that there are laws, statutes, and commandments that we have to follow. Right. There are guidelines that we are supposed to follow. Right. There are guidelines we're supposed to live by. You understand? Like the Lord wants us to have a sense of morality. The Lord wants us to have the sense of making the proper decisions and the right decisions in order to make our community better. The reason why our community isn't the way that it is now, the reason why our community is in shambles and is in poverty and, has, and the crime rate is entirely too high is because we made terrible decisions. We made horrible decisions. We made a terrible decision by joining ourselves to America. We made a terrible decision making Martin Luther King a leader that he was never supposed to be. We made a terrible decision of following, continuing to follow after the Christian church, which Christianity is a religion of our oppressor. Christianity is the religion of the white man, the religion of Andrew Jackson, George Washington, and a Andrew Adams. Roosevelt, the George Bushes and the Clintons. That's who the religion of Christianity is. And we were never supposed to follow after that religion because it gives us no morality. It, it does not give us the proper mindset to make the proper decisions mandated and obligated to fix the black community, to fix the Latino community, to fix the Native American community. You got that uh, scripture? Right? Give me, go ahead and give me Isaiah chapter 33, verse five. It's the book of Isaiah. Chapter 33 and verse 5. The Lord is exalted. Say what? The Lord. The what? The Lord. The what? The Lord. The Lord is referring to the God of this Bible. The Lord is referring to the God of Israel. The God of the Israelites. The God of the Iroquois. The God of the Navajo. The God of the Chickasaw. The God of the Kambachi. The God of the Pequot. The God of the so-called Native American. The God of the Negro in America. The God of the Negroes in the in the islands. The God of the Negroes in Jamaica, in Trinidad, in Trabago, in Grenada. The God of the Puerto Ricans. The God of the Cubans. The God of the Mexicans. The God of the Colombians. The God of the Costa Ricans. The God of the Mexicans. That's who the Lord is. Right. The Lord is exalted. And he is to be put on high. He is to be to be made. He's supposed to be in charge. He's supposed to be on top over any other God that you ever believed in. He is the God. He is the God that is to put on high. The God of this Bible right here. The God of so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Go ahead. For He dwelleth on high. He said what? He dwelleth on high because He dwelleth up high. He dwelleth on top because the Most High, the God, the God of this Bible is black. You understand? The God of this Bible is Puerto Rican. The God of this Bible is Dominican. The God of this Bible is Mexican. And he is up high. He is in charge. 
He is the all-powerful. He is the almighty. He is the God of so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. I cannot stress that enough. Go ahead. He has filled Zion with judgment. Say what? He has filled Zion with judgment. And he filled Zion with judgment. Who is Zion? Zion's referring to the Israelites. Zion's referring to the Jews. Zion's referring to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And the Lord filled Zion with what? Judgment. With what? Judgment. He filled out Zion with a sense of morality. Right. He filled Zion because we need those judgments. Here's the problem in the black, Hispanic, and Native American community. No thanks to the Christian church and no thanks to America. We conditioned, we have been conditioned. Our people have been conditioned to not have a sense of morality. Right. We, have, we have been conditioned to not have a sense of judgment. We have been conditioned to be a lawless people. We have been conditioned to not have order. And we need order in the black community. That is what we lack. We lack order in our cities. We lack order in our townships. We lack order in our towns, in our cities, in our neighborhoods, in our homes. This is the reason why our sons at 16 are shooting up the block. This is the reason why our school systems are destroyed. This is the reason why we can't get the education that we want our children to have. Because we do not have judgment. Because America conditioned our people to not care about law. 